Some are shaken, some are stirred, but each of these cocktails has bitten the bullet. They've all been shot by an air gun, which splinters the glasses and splatters the cocktails inside. Sixty destroyed cocktails feature in this new photo album called Zielwasser. Initially, we understand destroyed to mean something negative or ugly. But as you can see in the pictures, it can also be something absolutely beautiful when sometimes the delicate spray is captured or the swirls of water when you really see it clearly. These are things that the naked eye normally can't see. Miriam Erlmeyer and Annika Krause love finding new ways of looking at familiar things. They set up their design office a year and a half ago in the southern German town of Constance and can already make a living from their commissions. The clients appreciate their continual search for new approaches and themes. The book Hirnreisend depicts the world of people who have neurological disorders. Miriam Erlmeyer and Annika Krause have found unusual ways of explaining them. You might think it's a very boring topic, where you simply think, oh, that's going to be really difficult. And so the challenge is especially high to do something different and to find a way of extracting everything you can from the topic. Or you create something unexpected that shocks people at first. Completing their cocktail book was another tough challenge. At first, they experimented with explosives, a hammer, and then finally with an air gun. They wanted their photos to capture the precise moment of destruction. For example, we had a meringue, which looked very cute somehow. And it looked really beautiful when it was ruined, because it really became interesting when you destroyed it. It produces something different, and you can't really control it completely. There's always a surprise when something jumps off or flies away. They ultimately discovered that a glass filled with liquid can be especially impressive when shot to pieces. That's when they decided to photograph exploding cocktails. But first, they had to get used to handling the gun. When we first bought it, neither one of us wanted to take it home. We were afraid of it. We quarreled over who ought to take it home, but now it's just a normal object that we use to create the photos. We've grown used to it. The cocktails are shot in a completely darkened room. A split-second flash illuminates the scene when the shot hits the glass. This makes it possible to capture the moment when the glass shatters. It struck me that every person sees something different in it. The cocktail takes on a completely different form at this moment. And people see things, first liquid splashing around and then suddenly other images. Sometimes they really take on personalities. We've noticed that people say, oh, that's a likable cocktail, or that one looks aggressive. So it's really the case that they take on a life of their own. After a hard day shooting, Miriam Erlmeyer and Annika Krause like to relax with a view of Lake Constance and a few cocktails.